Hey there guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanna show you a product from ESR, and this is the Halo Lock Magnetic Wireless Car Charger. What's special about this? It is a third-party MagSafe charger, which is awesome to see. So these are starting to come into the market, and I'm really excited to try this one out. So this one is, as it says, a wireless car charger, but it works with your MagSafe-enabled phone. So if you have an iPhone 12, uh, 12 mini, 12 Pro, or 12 Pro Max, you can use this with your um, phone. Now, um, of course, a lot of third-party cases are not MagSafe compatible, so they may not work with this. But if you do have an Apple case that has the MagSafe adapter on it, or you're just using the phone naked, it will work just fine on this charger. So uh, this comes in at a price of $45.99. And uh, let's go ahead and see what we get inside the box. Taking a quick look at our packaging here, we do have a picture of the charger right there. At the bottom here, it does save magnetic locking, 10 watts of power, and has a USB-C port. And then on the back, it does tell you the wattages that it outputs. So it outputs five watts, 7.5 watts, and 10 watts. So not quite the same 15 or 18 watts that the MagSafe charger does, but still faster than the traditional 7.5 watts that we get from regular wireless chargers. So let's see what we get inside the box here. All right, so inside here, it does have the charger itself. So it says requires a caseless iPhone 12 or a MagSafe compatible or Halo Lock case. So ESR does sell their own uh, Halo Lock case. Um, I believe they have one right now, probably gonna have more pretty soon, um, but that will be compatible with it here. And just to give you a look here, we do have a little LED light right there, vent holes right there for the charger, another LED possibly. On the bottom right here, we have a uh, where our charger goes. So there's USB-C right there. Actually a pretty nice looking charger right there. We have our vent clip here. So this does work with traditional vent clips, but uh, certain vent clips are not compatible. So as you can see right here, it will go, um, it can clip on, or it can just slip onto your vent clip right there. And that's adjustable right there. So that's pretty nice. And this has a ball mount right here. Pop it in there like that. And then it screws down and uh, it's nice and adjustable right there. So you can have it in the car, swivel it in any direction, which is really nice to see. And then we have our USB-C to USB-A. So it doesn't actually have a car charger itself. So you'll have to have your own uh, car charger adapter, or you can plug this into a USB port if you have one in your car already. So in order to mount this, uh, what you have here is the clip as well as the bottom here. So you probably want to get it closer to the bottom of your vent so it actually doesn't um, move so as you can see when i put it up here it seems to be okay but it did seem like it wanted to drop a little bit so i'm going to put it at the bottom here so it actually sticks and doesn't go anywhere so i'm going to put it on this one part of the vent right here and then as you can see it kind of seats in and doesn't droop or anything and then of course you can move this around any which way. So in order to get charging on this, you do need to have a car charger or a USB port in your car. So as you can see, I have this Belkin uh, dual USB-A uh, charger here. And in order to get the full uh, 7.5 or 10 watts of charging, you do need to have a quick charge adapter. So you'll need a quick charge 2.0 or quick charge 3.0 car charger uh, similar to this. Now I do have an iPhone 12 mini here. And this one is actually using a silicone case. I did try it beforehand and it did not seem like it would adhere, but again, it does tell you that if it's not a MagSafe compatible case, it probably won't work. But here, I'll just show you. It will kind of stay, but the moment you move too much, it does want to come off. And just to show you, I do have a uh, 12 Pro Max here. So of course this is the big boy. And as you can see, it does hold that also. Now, one thing to note is the 12 Pro Max is a lot heavier than the other iPhone 12 models, so it will uh, probably drag down your vent just a little bit, but that's not really the uh, wireless charger's fault. It's your phone is just heavy, and as you can see here, it just consumes a lot of space also, but it does work just fine. And in this clip here, I just wanted to show uh, going over some speed bumps and actually driving with the phone attached to the Halo Lock wireless magnetic charger. So as you can see uh, in this clip here, I am going over a couple of speed bumps and it handles it just fine and the phone stays put. So there you guys have it. This is just a quick look at the ESR Halo Lock wireless magnetic car charger. I do really think this is a really nice charger. And of course, you do need to have a MagSafe compatible case 
or use your phone without the case to use this to get the full magnetic adhesion onto this, but it does hold really well. We do have those two little LEDs on the side again, so it shows you when it is charging. And I do like that it moves in all directions so you have it uh, where it can be aimed at you or the passenger. I'd say the only complaint I have with this charger is just how short the cord is. So as you can see, we have the USB-C to USB-A cord. And as you can see, it comes right down here and just barely reaches into my center console here but not a real big deal. So if you have another cord, uh, another USB-C to USB-A cord, you can use a six footer and then kind of hide it a little bit better. So, because as you can see right here, this one is short, it kind of covers my, my screen right here. But other than that, I really do like it. Anyway, guys, if you are interested in this uh, charger, I will leave a link down below where you can uh, find this and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you did like the video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more like this, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.